Hello everyone. My name is Darren Hart. Some of you may remember me as the guy who said Huzzah! over at Ilfi Panto. But today, I would like to read a story to you guys. So I want you to sit back, relax, and let me take you on a little journey. The book I'm reading today is called Look Up by Nathan Bryan and illustrated by Depo Adiola. Every night before bed, I set up my telescope and look up at the stars. Mum tells me that I never stop looking up and my head is always floating in the clouds. But she can't tell me that I look up more than my big brother Jamal looks down at his silly phone. Jamal says I'm called Rocket because I've got fiery breath. But mum says it's because a famous rocket blasted off into space the day I was born. All I know is that one day I'm going to be the greatest astronaut, star catcher, space traveller who has ever lived. Like Mae Jameson, the first African-American woman in space. Did you know Mae Jameson went into orbit around Earth in the space shuttle Endeavour, even though she's scared of heights? I'm totally prepared. I've defied gravity, captured rare and exotic life forms, and built a spaceship to the stars. For today's mission, I'm going to see something incredible. The Phoenix Meteor Shower. I want everyone to see it with me. So I've made some flyers to hand out. Jamal is going to take me to the park to see the meteor shower. But first, we have to go to the supermarket. While he's looking for milk, I'll be trying to find the astronaut food. Did you know, meteor showers happen when Earth moves through the trail of dust left by a comet. Did you know, most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand. Did you know, meteors are bits of dust burning up in the atmosphere. Did you know, the best time to see a meteor shower is when it's dark with no clouds. In the supermarket, while Kathy the cashier isn't looking, I grab the microphone. Tonight, come out and witness the amazing Phoenix Meteor Shower. Everyone, look up. Kathy takes the microphone back. As I hand out my flyers to the other people in the queue, I think Jamal might be a tiny bit cross with me. The Phoenix Meteor Shower will come soon. We better draw off the shopping and get back to the park fast. Oops. <laughs> that wouldn't have happened if you had just looked up. Now Jamal is even more cross with me. He says he won't take me to the park anymore. But when we get home, mum saved the day. Come on, Jamal, she says. Put that phone down and take your little sister to the park. Yes! I jump up and do my famous victory dance around the house. I grab my jetpack rack sack, but Jamal is still glued to his game. Wait till I complete the level, Rocket, he grumbles. As we're about to leave, the doorbell rings. Wowza! Everyone's here, and they're all holding my flyers. To the park, I yell, at the top of my lungs. We're all so excited. My neck is aching from staring up into the night sky. But I won't stop. I can't miss it. Suddenly the park goes silent. Even the birds are holding their breath. Everyone points their telescopes and binoculars up at the sky. I think I can see one. But it's just a plane flying overhead. Everyone moans and groans. We wait and we wait and we wait. It must be nearly time for the park to close. One by one, 
people start to go home. Maybe the Phoenix meteor shower was just a myth. Maybe that's why Jamal didn't want to come along. Maybe everyone is upset with me for wasting their time. I've never, ever felt this sad before. Jamal looks at me for the first time today. Feels like the first time ever. I've turned off my phone, sis, he says. I'm sorry for making you wait in the freezing cold for nothing, Jamal. Let's go home. Suddenly, there's a big bright light in the sky. Look up! The Phoenix meteor shower! I'm speechless, Jamal says. He pulls out his flask and gives me a warm cup of hot chocolate. Yummy! We both sit down on the hill, watching meteors zoom across the sky. I'm so happy we looked up and saw them together. Did you know? One day, I'm going to have a meteor shower named after me. Thank you for listening to the story, everyone. On the back of the book, it says, when you dream big, anything can happen. I want you all to remember that and go and make things happen. Have a good day, guys. See you soon.